45 हो ही गया um, let's see the cutter tool so cutter if you select the cutter tool and uh, this option which is called the ma use mouse gesture this option will be turned uh, by default and uh, what it does is all you have to do is select and drag select and just drag like this make a stroke like this and it will automatically going to cut the uh, exit uh, excess areas ok select and without any that thing yes so if you select the, uh, the no are hasne ka kuch nahi hai bas has kyu rahe ho tum and you can see that this is the intersecting line this is the intersecting line and it automatically detects the area and cut it for you theek hai ek and another thing is uh, we are in the lasso mode right so if we select it an area like this and we can move it so it it is going to create a hole and uh, obviously after selecting we can delete it okay remember this is uh, this is uh, a fill area in uh, open tune what is a fill area a brush stroke with a brush stroke that kind of selection ha crea happens here so ha huh? same thing is going to happen i'm going to show you but uh, let's see again what is uh, what it is actually doing so when you select like this and delete it it is actually uh, i'm sorry it is actually uh, let's go to the control point area tool it is actually creating uh, multiple number of control points and uh, creating the hole for you so you can understand that it is just uh, a bit a little a lot more advanced than open tools so that's why it is convenient to work with um so let's go to okay zoom out acha isme shortcut assign nahi hai um where is that zoom tool Uh, unfortunately we don't have the dragging option here <coughs> okay ha huh? nahi um after that we have reposition all drawing and here if we actually okay in cutter tool i think this is it uh, oh with pencil lines right so i have created this pencil lines and if we select the cutter tool and do assign a shortcut for it and it will be easier if you assign c uh, you can see that uh, you can delete it and here uh, an overlapping is actually happening how oh, should an overlapping is happening that's why this areas are there so what you can do you can select this area and delete it so this is with the pen tool and what is here actually happening is uh, if we select it and you can see that uh, the edges are this kind of sharp edges we can make them okay this is this is the end we can make them round then we are going to get the round edge for the start and the end both of the thing we can do that so basically this is a line tool so that's why the nature is a little bit different than the brush stroke and uh, let's go to let's delete everything and i'm going to just do that draw 1 2 3 4 1 1 for the second frame uh, i'm going to add 2 you can see that uh, drawing number is 2 we can actually change this drawing number as we can do it uh, open tools level strip and how to change the drawing number I'm going to come to these things a little bit later. Uh, you can draw, change the drawing number from here. Rename drawing, Control D. You can press, add whatever you want. Um, so four. So let's say this one, two, three, four, four frames we have. And if we go to the this tool, and this is a very useful tool that you, uh, 
you have made the entire animation now you feel like uh, you don't want to change the actual property of the of the layer normally what we do uh, in open tools we actually go to this tool edit tool which is uh, which actually moves the entire uh, entire column but that's an absolute value and what it does it is it is made for animating the uh, column and let's say we don't want that we want to move uh, actually the uh, um, we don't want to mess up with the actual property let's say you have already finished doing the keyframe animation now you want to move the character or you are facing that kind of thing so what you have to do is you just go to reposition all drawing select one drawing and it is actually going to select everything and you can reposition in it uh, reposition it in your frame and you can see that all the drawings have been repositioned okay um, so this is the reposition all drawing tool after that um, oh another thing is if you select this tool let's say you need to flip the animation or something like that so we have that option or uh, flip horizontally you can do that entire animation is going to flip or you want to move it rotate it 90 degree or uh, 90 degree this side then you can do that so you have all this option okay entire animation may apply ho jayega portion ko select karke unfortunately when you select this tool this is only made for the um, entire animation like if you have some other thing uh, and if you go back to this tool it's on automatically going to select everything for you so no you cannot uh, do a portion of um, change a portion of the animation like this okay uh, huh? throw out the column yeah that you can have this much frames one uh, no okay let's try to do that what is he, what he is saying so I'm going to select these two frames only these two frames and let's move it no no so move away Okay. Select okay. Okay. Uh, after that, pencil tool. Uh, we have seen the use of pencil tool, mm, and uh, there is this option, which is called the auto gap. And what it does is, uh, let's create a pencil line like this and if you by default this option is going to be checked in so what it actually does is let's go to the the, the color mode color filling mode and uh, if you have uh, this option turned on if you have this option turned on then just draw the line and it is you can see that uh, for the color filling it automatically actually fills the entire area so that means you can actually feel a color though the though the b b outline is not filled you can feel the feel the color with it so let's create huh? uh, by default this to this option is uh, going to be turned on which is let's see, uh, which is this option uh, auto fill gap if you if you uncheck it then it's not going to happen so I'm going to create a close gap and let's go to the fill tool I'm going to select uh, another color from the color uh, this area, and if we do that, it's not happening because these are the the gap threshold is too quite too much. So I think from uh, preference or somewhere else we can change the threshold area, but let uh, right now just let's try to you know move this keyframe here, and though it is not filled, I believe okay it is not happening but it it was happening when we <coughs> were in the this mode the, the 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 color mode so in the color mode if we draw something which is very close uh, fill area then uh, we can actually automatically fill that area 
Uh, and uh, and as you know, we can do the same thing in open tunes by cutting the line and uh, making it <coughs> zero thickness. So, but that option is there, uh, huh? Hmm. right. No. So, abhi abhi manually pass karte right. There should be a threshold. Okay, so if I go to the brush and now it's done. Brush, not pencil, now it's done. Okay. Let's go to the text tool. In the text tool, I have to show you one thing. What is the text tool? What is the usage of the text tool? Let's remove all of them. And in the text tool, टेक्स टूल में जाके लेट्स क्रिएट ए टेक्स बड़ा करके फिफ्टी ओके क्या हुआ ओके so um, all the basic text in from uh, uh, in options are there bold italic and all this thing you can select that uh, entire thing and you can after selecting you get these all these options also then you can see that uh, extra panel have been added here which is the text selection and uh, we have all these options now um, the best thing is uh, actually we can okay, can we do this flat in and we can, no, it's not going to happen so let's say we want to uh, change the shape of a text and we cannot do that you can see you can select nothing though we have selected the layer and the right frame you cannot actually uh, select anything so if you want to manipulate each and every shape like a vector shape what you have to do is after selecting the text you have to go to the drawing menu and from there we have the convert option and there we have break apart text layer and if you do that you can see that each and every layer have uh, become a, a separate uh, shape uh, but if we go to the control point editor tool even now you cannot change the shape okay so for that again you have to play first select the entire thing uh, or a selection whatever you need then go to the drawing menu and then convert and then break apart again and then actually you can uh, if you go to the control point editor tool you can actually change the shape okay so this was the text tool uh, after that we have The control point editor tool, we all know what a control point editor tool does because we have used vector software earlier. So let's create a brush line. Uh, let's select the black. Achha. It's almost 5, so I'm going to take a. Uh, actually, let's. Uh, 